The promise of tomorrow. This is the mood of the Motorama. A promise made explicit by customized cars, such as this Chevrolet Corvette. The Motorama shows were these traveling auto shows where General Motors would take its product out to the world and kind of show them off, and really where the Corvette was born. These cars embody principles of design and engineering that foretell future motoring. I'm a little, like, speechless sitting in this car. Tell me a little bit about the Corvette. Where does this fit into our American history? So uh, the Corvette was the idea of Harley Earl. The very favorable public acceptance of General Motors styling is made possible by the unique combination of policy, facilities, and personnel. Harley Earl was General Motors' first vice president of design, and coming out of World War II, he had witnessed that a lot of young men and women were driving European and uh, English sporty cars around, and he thought that he could find a way into that market by building a low-priced sporty car that would be America's first entry into that segment. Chevrolet's plastic body Corvette shows a strong sports car influence. When it goes into limited production, it will retail at $3,000. I have six and a half Corvettes. You know, it's like your children. You really can't have a favorite. Um, but um, I, I, I revere them all for different reasons, and the 53 particularly because of it, it started it all. I have serial number 32 out of the 300 that were built. I take it out as, as much as I can, and I show it as much as I can. I really feel that the car needs to be out in the public and seen, given its, its history. The original Corvette was powered by um, uh, an inline six cylinder engine. It only put out 150 horsepower. Well, as the car's evolved through all the years, it's, it's maintained a certain styling aspect to it. It's the sports car that every young person wanted through the 50s, 60s, 70s. A Corvette is uniquely a Corvette, and it's, it's a, it's a two-seat sports car, and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. 70 years ago today, the Corvette debuted at the General Motors Motorama show right here in New York City. So to celebrate, Chevrolet is introducing 2024 Corvette E-Ray. It's electrified. On that actual day that the car uh, inter was introduced in New York 70 years ago, uh, we're introducing the first electrified C8, the E-Ray, to that's never happened in history um, for the Corvette. What would a Corvette owner, you know, five years ago recognize, know about this car? What's familiar about it is it is every much in its DNA a Corvette, from the damper tuning, springs and, and stabilizer bars, um, to interior cockpit. Technically, it would be classified as a performance hybrid. This is a very, very specific high-end electrified vehicle where we're using two separate but integrated propulsion systems together in the same car. So one of the big questions about an e-sports car is does it still sound and feel like a sports car? Yeah, it does. All right, so we're about to tackle New York City in the brand new Corvette E-Ray. Let's, Let's have a good it. time. You've got the 495 horsepower from the LT2 behind you, as well as the 160 horsepower electric assist up front, which nets you a 655 horsepower missile that's at your fingertips. And that's one of the things that people have come to like about electric cars, right? Or electrified exactly. cars even, that, that you, you step on the gas and you're out like a bullet. There it is. <laughs> the one thing people, you know, that are scared of electrified vehicles they're scared of it because it's new, but it's great. What has made this car stand out for so many years for so many people? Yeah, it's such an iconic portfolio. And what I like from my perspective is this car is one of the best bang for your bucks, any Corvette, for going to the racetrack, truly seeing our cars driven hard and what they're intended to be. In a 1963 fuel injection Corvette, 360 horsepower, all wrapped up in the neatest sports car package on the road today. There has been a lot of attention and a big buzz about this car. This car looks neat. I think back to the beginning days of Corvette, if there weren't people at Chevrolet that loved that car so much, it probably wouldn't have made it 70 years. We'll continue to admire these, uh, these older ones because they... They, they had their, their place in history and they, they turned heads and they, uh, 
they've always talked to, to young young men like me when I was uh, a kid saying, boy, I hope someday I have one of those cars. What's What do you think is next for the American sports car, for the Corvette? What I hope um, is that we continue to honor the legacy of what's come before and push the technology and the performance forward and um, you know make all of the folks that came before us proud of what we've accomplished. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.